of cards. TCG. What's up, guys? Shane here, House of Cards TCG. Got Tyler here. You can hear him. You cannot see him. We got a pretty good one for you here today. It's a chaos box from Target. $25. Um, got four booster packs, four duelist packs, uh, one mystery blister pack. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. What are you expecting out of the chaos box? I have very, <laughs> very low expectations with this box. Anytime you see a, a chaos box or lightning box, it is just, you just never know. And uh, you remember my mystery cube opening from Walmart, right? Yeah, with the mystery cube opening, that has really got me in bad headspace here with this one. Expecting tampering. Um, don't know what else to expect. Hoping for the best, obviously. You never know, though. We just love wasting money. <laughs> we waste the money here, so you don't have to. Ah, I like that better. Okay, chaos box. Big opening. Here we go. Okay, looking good so far. We'll see. At least that they give you booster packs. Got the mystery packs. pack. At least they give you booster packs. My mystery cube from Walmart was just cards, open cards. At least you get booster packs. Yeah, let's hope and pray these are not opened. Like that Tyler looks like more swear. than four booster packs. Galactic Overlord. We got the fusion in four orders. Speed duel, not a good one. Those are very unpopular. Flames of Destruction, Duelist Alliance, Duelist Alliance, one on the ground, Duelist Pack Kaiba. So we get the four booster packs, we get the four Duelist packs, less valuable, and the one mystery. So start off with the Duelist Pack Yugi, Let's see what we can get. Looking good. No evidence of tampering yet. But these are obviously repackaged cards. There's... Karibo. Yellow Gadget. Buster Blader. Polymerization. Alternate art. Not bad. And Magical Hats and Rare. So we got a Super Rare. Let's get these out of the way. Duelist Alliance. So Tyler, what is your all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? I, I'm gonna have to go with what was it? it was a Gaian Warrior, right? Gaia the Fierce Knight. Gaia the Fierce Knight with okay. Cursed Dragon. It's classic. It's classic. Gaia the what, what was that card called? Gaia the Fierce Knight with Cursed Dragon. Oh, I know exactly what you're the talking fusion. about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. Draco Ascension, Stellar Nova Wave, Artifact Lancia, not bad. Okay. Castle Sky Blast Musketeer. That is a good rank four. Um, been reprinted several, several times. No. Not a lot of value here, but good card overall. Altair, the Diva, the Yang Zang Unleashed, Hymn of Light, and a Performer Pal. Okay. Not bad. He's doing better than I am. It is a little better than Tyler's uh, Lightning Mr. Boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Very low bar set, though. Yeah. Flames of Destruction. So these cards, these packs are all opening you know, um, normally, which is which is great. We got the red-haired hasty horse, the watch cat. I am not gonna butcher that. Link bound, got a super rare. Sanctified Dark Lord, Battery Man Solar, Vendra Daybreak, got a pendulum card there. Those are very unpopular. And Protron. Okay, let's go for the speed duel. Just get it over with. Knock it out. Nothing you want to pull from there? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, if you don't know, if you're watching this and don't know what the speed duel is, Yu-Gi-Oh! tried to reinvent itself to a younger audience. They tried to make the duels go by quicker and they created these new sets of speed duels. It really has not caught on. Um, so, these packs are just not popular. Harpy's Pet Dragon, Magicians Unite, Skull Servant, and White Elephant's Gift. So, look, four cards in the whole pack. All commons. Fusion Enforcers. Forgers. Oh, no. Okay. 
Okay, we got a secret rare. Fluffle Octopus. Check out that artwork. Squid. Penguin, Imp Chain, and Vendor. So this pack, I got excited for the secret rare. They each come with a secret rare. So uh, still, hey, eh, good looking card. Except Speed Duel. Yeah, except the Speed Duel <laughs> with four commons. Okay, Duelist Alliance. Let's open one of these already. Swordfish, Cloud Castle, Uranus. Cool looking art card. Pendulum back. Got the Mighty Slugger. Tyler was going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh card, that would be him. Hippo, Hymn of Light, Battleground, Howling, and UA Stadium. So Tyler, what do you think about that Mighty Slugger? The Mighty Slugger. The UA Mighty Slugger. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm a big baseball guy. That's actually a pretty cool card. 2300 attack. You can special summon this card from your hand by returning UA monster, a UA, one UA monster you control to the hand, except UA Mighty Slugger. Got the Galactic Overlord here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Influence Dragon, Zector Earwig, Aquamir Cycle, Nitwit Outwit. You gotta love the naming on some of these cards. First we had Uranus, now we have Nitwit Outwit. Light Ray Greffer, Red Headed Oni, Light Ray Daedalus, Bouncer Guard, Phantom Bouncer. Okay. Nothing good, nothing exciting. So you got all these packs here, so what's your favorite pack out of all these that you like? Mm. Favorite so far, probably the Galactic Overlord is most recognizable. So, guys, if you didn't know, I've been out of Yu Gi Oh for eight years and uh, just got back into it. So, um, this one is a little bit of a nostalgia there. It was popular back when I was playing. So, um, other than that, uh, a lot of these are frankly unrecognizable. Got the Duelist Pack Kaiba. Got the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Flute of Summoning Dragon. Y Dragon Head. Sword Stalker. Oh, wow. Check out that Cyber Jar. That is a good pull. Why is it, what does it do? It's an ultra rare. It's a um, really classic card. You destroy all monsters on the field, and then both players reveal the top cards from their decks. And then they special summon all revealed level 4 lower monsters in face up attack position or face down defense position. And uh, they add any remaining cards to their hand. So this card just a frustration card. It blows up the field and then you add the cards from your deck. Um, so, been banned, I believe, but just a really cool pull. Oh my god, guys. Did anyone else realize that the Cyber Jar I pulled was an ultimate rare? Because I did not. That card pulled out of a Target Chaos Box is a $30 pull. <laughs> oh man, so that just goes to show you can get something good out of those target boxes, but while on camera, we may not always get these right and we might miss a huge pull. So let us know in the comments if we do that again. But this is Shane from House of Cards signing out. House of Cards.